Hi, I'm Patty Fernandez and I'm an art teacher. Visit my website at pattyfernandezartist.com Okay, let's draw. Today's project is how to draw a harvest pumpkin with a little mouse. Okay, we're going to start right here in the center. Put two fingers in the middle and draw me a dot. And from that dot, I'm going to go little straight line to the right, curve line down, and stop. Go back to the dot, little straight line, curve line down on the left. I come back to the right, and I draw a big curve line out, down, and over. And then I come back up to the left hand side. Right about here, I'm going to put a dot, and from that dot, I'm going to draw a curve line down, getting larger at the bottom. Go back to the dot, curve line down, connect. Come up to the top on the right hand side, draw me a big curve line on the right, and a big curve line on the left. I'm going to come back in and mimic those lines again on the right and again on the left. I go one, two straight lines and I go one, two, three straight lines. Come up right here at the top and draw me one dot, two dots, and a little flying pizza oval. Down at the bottom I'm going to draw one curve line up, connect, on the left and another curve line up connect on the right and I go one two three little straight lines on the left one two three little straight lines on the right now I'm going to go back and I am going to connect this line to that line I'm going to bring this down a little bit and I come back on this left and I add a wavy, 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 wavy line all the way to the right. I come back on the left and I'm going to continue my pumpkin line all the way out, curve line down, and connect. I'm going to add a little tail so I go wavy, wavy line up, wavy, wavy line down connect. I'm going to add a couple of pumpkin lines so we know that that's what this is. Keep going. Not too many, just enough so we know it's a pumpkin. And now we're ready to color. For coloring I'm going to use crayons so I'm going to color my stem green. Then I'm going to color my pumpkin orange. And I want it to be harvest colors, so I'm going to color my mouse brown, 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 don't forget his tail, brown. The inside of his ears I'm going to do pink, and just to add a touch of color I'm going to make his nose blue. Okay. Once I've colored the entire pumpkin, I come back in with my darker red-orange and I add some detail lines over the light orange that I've already done. Here's my pumpkin all colored in. Sometimes I use background colors if I keep it as a final picture plane. Other times I cut out the whole entire thing and mount it and use it as a centerpiece. And often, I'll write the child's name right at the middle. Okay, bye-bye.